Crews are working around the clock trying to solve the big sinkhole emergency in Fraser along 15 Mile Road. Right now, the priority is installing bypass lines to route sewage around the broken pipe. Once that's done, work can begin on the line itself. But in the meantime, significant progress is being made to allow residents, uh, most of them at least, to try to get back home, at least for a little while. Nick Monticelli live in Fraser tonight with more on residents who've uh, been able to get some of their items back out. Devin, good evening. Yes, they're able to do that as long as they have a police escort to get onto Eberline Street. This home is the one closest to 50 Mile Road. There are 21 others behind it. Utilities are coming back, power, sewage, gas, things like that. In the meantime, though, they do have that challenge of trying to prioritize what they want to get in the little time they have. While all of this is happening on 15 Mile, kind of odd, there's just nothing around, no people, no dogs. This is the majority of Eberline, eerily calm. Sad, depressing. Shelly Sullivan and her husband Jerome were allowed back in today to get a few things. She was in the middle of wrapping Christmas presents when they were told to get out. We saw a little while later, we saw the police outside again telling people, you got like five minutes. The good news is progress is being made to get them back into their homes. As far as utilities, power and sewage is reconnected. Water and gas are next. Even temporary mailboxes were put up. The last hurdle is to create roads since Eberline can't be accessed. To the west, there is an empty piece of land where a new road will go, cutting through backyards and in between homes to get to Eberline. They're also considering a second road that would come off of Hidden Pine Drive and then through a small wooded area. Oh, just uh, that load right there. Mike Racine also came home to get more clothes. Pretty inconvenient, but well, things happen. But there are still three families who will not be able to come home for at least 10 months. I feel so bad. My heart goes out to the families with the homes that, you know, they can't get back in. But for those other families, they set a date of January 9th to be able to get back into their homes. They say they are definitely on schedule. If not, they won't be able to get them in sooner or before that date. Now, here's something really unique. They have set up some crisis counseling. So those who are just feeling really bad about this grief counseling or want to talk to someone that are going through all this, they can call a couple of numbers or go in person. We have all that information on our website now at clickondetroit.com. We are live in Fraser. Nick Bonicelli, Local 4.